look forward to that. Thank you, guys. Many times, finding a spot to park in Indianapolis isn't so easy. A popular smartphone app is supposed to make it easier to find parking and pay for it. But we're uncovering issues with that app and how it could put you at risk for a parking ticket, too. Our Working For You, Call 6 Investigates Paris Lubel gets to the bottom of what's wrong. Here in Indianapolis, you can pay for parking two ways. First, by using one of these boxes or by using your phone. It's supposed to be even easier. You just enter the spot number, but that's not always working. Finding a parking spot in Indianapolis can already be a struggle, but feeding the meter shouldn't also be difficult. I can't even get it to do anything. The city's parking contractor, Park Indy, encourages people to use a mobile app called Park Mobile and says it's a smarter way to park and it's supposed to be even easier to use. And the app is so great and convenient, but it just never works properly for whatever reasons. Yeah. But we've uncovered that app isn't always working the way it's supposed to be. Besides it freezing up or taking a payment, I done came out here you, from using it and to a ticket. Take this for an example. Entering spot 5020, which is right outside the city county building, brings up a list of cities, but Indianapolis isn't included. You're also supposed to be able to scan that little QR code on the spot sign, but it doesn't work either. In fact, none of the QR codes came up on any of the spot signs we tried around the city. You're supposed to scan that little code there. The code, yeah. And it says that. Oh, that kind of frustrating. Each time the same air popping up. Like it don't even exist. It's not the only issue the app has been having recently. Tracy and Brandy tried to use the app this afternoon. It won't let us increase the amount of time other than 10 minutes, and we need much more than 10 minutes for our fun. They sell it as a great option, but if it doesn't work, then it really it isn't an option, really. So we took the video and issues to Park Indy. They tell us in a statement, Park Indy could have overlooked this particular spot 5020 when reconciling the space numbers with the app. For the QR codes, they say, at this time, we feel the QR code technology is outdated and we are in the process of restickering our meter numbers, which will exclude the QR code. Everything you promote, you should make sure it's working properly. If you do continue to run into problems, the city says contact customer service, either by Park Indy, the numbers here on the box, or if you're using the mobile app, the numbers inside the app, there they can help you resolve the problem. In Indianapolis, Paris Lubell, RTV6.